Hi there and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to show you how to photograph some watches. I'm going to give you some ideas and some tips on how to achieve better results. Maybe you have a watch that you want to show off on Instagram or you have a client project and you need some inspiration. This is the right video for you. Right, these are the pictures that I've going to take in the future. Hope you like them. Just a quick word on my equipment that I'm using. I'm using a Sony a7 III with a 70mm macro lens on it from Sigma and I'm going to be using a small LED panel. Basically you can also use a phone. Uh, I'll most probably take a picture with my phone later on also to show you that this is also achievable and yeah. I could have used one of the big lights that I have, but I'm using it uh, to, to light myself. Uh, but I also wanted to show you that this is also possible with, with not a lot of uh, equipment. You could even use a, a torch or your phone light and diffuse it with a piece of paper or so. I really like using continuous uh, light sources like these LED panels. As you can see the end result on your screen before you take the picture and this saves a lot of time having to check each time if you've exposed it correctly or if you see any sh uh, shiny bits that you don't want to uh, have in, in your picture and uh, yeah this also yeah, speeds up the post uh, process let's start with one of the most crucial things and that is uh, to clean your watch I use a sunglass cloth to do this um, you want to be taking any smudges or fingerprints and any dust, dust particles because you'll be able to see them in, in the photograph. Another thing I would advise to do is to place the watch hands at around uh, 10 to 2 so that you can see the logo of the watch and you can see the date if it has a date and uh, yeah basically you see all the the, the detail, the fine details of the watch. So let's start with the first setup. I have some grey gravel here and I'm gonna bury the watch in this gravel and then I'll place yeah, the, the light around this and I'll try and do some test shots and see what I like the best. So I'll try and bury this here. I have my light source here now, this side and I'm just gonna try and take some pictures and see how it all looks. Maybe from further back, try and get some of the rubber band. Hopefully I won't, hopefully I won't scratch the watch. <laughs> So for the second shot, I'm gonna still use this uh, little side table and I'm gonna place a slat of wood on top of it. And I'm gonna try and do um, something with other props like using an old camera and maybe a cigar. And yeah, I'm still thinking there's something missing maybe I'll brew some coffee and I'll put a espresso espresso uh, cup here with um, with some coffee in it and I'll try and experiment maybe top down and yeah let's see how it works out. So I ended up um, getting a lens and placing it here because it was a bit uh, empty the space and I also ended up uh, brewing a coffee and placing it here because it was also an empty space right I want to place the watch back to quarter to two because it's moved so I'm gonna place the watch in the middle and I'm gonna do a top-down picture the watch is still very uh, very dark so I'm going to try and place the light above it 
so I'm pretty liking the results there. Check it out. At the moment, I'm trying to shoot from this side, from uh, opposite side from the light source, and I'm getting a um, I'm getting a reflection of the light on the watch. I'll try and record this on my A7A3 so you can see it. And to get rid of this, you can use like a lens cap uh, and place it above uh, from the... So if you place this lens cap on the light source, you'll be able to cover the light reflection. And there's still going to be enough light coming through because it will just go around it. But it's just enough. You see? So I'm going to take a few pictures like this. So this is my next setup. I have the watch like this. I place some corks in the strap so that it stays like um, steady. And I've placed it on top of a little lens cap. And I'm just going to try and take some pictures from the front. And try and get the background blurry so you only see the the sphere of the watch and i'll be placing the light uh, in various uh, places just to find uh, the right spot or what i like the most i'm ready i have the light i'm going to place it on the left hand side and try and take some shots maybe from the bottom See what that gives well that gives quite a good that's probably the best one so this is another setup I just wanted to show you that it is possible to take some really cool photos also with a smartphone um, yeah basically I have the watch on top of some old hard drives that I just found uh, when I was um, tidying up and I thought it was a quite cool yeah, scenery or prop as yeah, a little bit of technology and the watch looks quite good together. Right, so I'm going to take some pictures and I'll show you the results just using a smartphone. Okay, this is my last setup as this watch is a diver's watch I wanted to do a photograph also in water and I've placed it basically in a uh, jar or basically I think it's a, f a flower top a flower um, uh, what you call it I don't know. it's for a flower and I'm gonna try with this uh, straw to blow in some bubbles and take some pictures I have the light source on top so I don't get any reflections and I also have this time the camera on the tripod because as I need to put some bubbles in the water um, I have to place the camera on a timer so yeah. Hope you like the ideas that I just showed you. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, bye.